Hello Madridistas and thanks for joining us on today's interesting episode as we talk you through some very important updates at Real Madrid. Kickstarting on today's agenda, Braga manager comments on Real Madrid star potential on availability for the UEFA Champions League clash as he claimed changes absolutely nothing. Understand that the star in question is Jude Bellingham. So we are going to be talking you through that on this episode and shortly after that we are going to turn our attention elsewhere as ahead of the highly anticipated clash Real Madrid captain Nacho Fernandez had something to say in front of the press conference friends including talking on Jude Bellingham, Ada Goulet, Luka Modric, Vinicius Jr and Carlo Ancelotti. We are going to talk you through that on this episode. So please stay tuned right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you do not miss on our next update. Real Madrid lock horns with Braga in the UEFA Champions League with the Spanish Giants looking for a win to help them seal a place in the knockout rounds. However, Real Madrid were handed a blow heading into the game as star player Jude Bellingham had picked up an injury against Rayo Vallecano. The Englishman was able to play the entirety of the game but suffered a shoulder dislocation. This led to speculations that he will not future against Braga. Braga head coach Arthur George has reacted to the speculations heading into the game, suggesting that his team is prepared to take on Real Madrid irrespective of the midfielder availability. Whether Bellingham is there or not, it changes absolutely nothing. I was convinced that Bellingham was going to be available and our team prepared. Preparation has been based on the dynamics of Real Madrid as a team and not on individual aspect, George said. Earlier in the morning, it was reported that Bellingham won't future in the game as Real Madrid approached with caution. However, the England international did take part in group training and, even, and has even been named in the squad list, although it is unclear if Carlo Ancelotti will use him. Josh also responded to Carlo Ancelotti's praise of Braga heading into the game stating, Ancelotti praise has pleased us and has been a motivation to continue the work we are doing. Our good performances must be added to adding points to be able to continue our trajectory in the competition. We know the difficulty we are going to encounter and we hope to have a brave team, he said. George also highlighted how Braga fared in the first leg against Real Madrid with the Portuguese outfit succumbed to a 2-1 defeat at home. Regardless of the result of two goals in favor of Real Madrid, it does not distract us from the fact that our club has fought until the end for the points and for victory. That's why I was happy with the level of my players, George said. The Braga coach will now be hoping for more productive turnout from his team as they take on Real Madrid once again and this time in front of a packed Santiago Bernabeu. Having concluded with that, we are going to quickly turn our attention elsewhere as Real Madrid captain Nacho Fernandez talks Adagule, Jude Bellingham, Vinicius Jr, Luka Modric and Ancelotti ahead of Real Madrid vs Braga. Real Madrid will look to secure a place in the round of 16 of the UEFA Champions League when they lock horns with Braga. With three wins in three games, Los Blancos are the cost of going through the round of 16 with a positive result on Wednesday night. Ahead of the game, Real Madrid defender and captain Nacho Fernandez joined manager Carlo Ancelotti in the press conference 
discussing a number of topics. We are excited. We know how important this competition is for Real Madrid. If we win, we will achieve our objective of reaching the last 16, Nacho said, discussing the team's objective in Europe. Even though Nacho has not played a lot this season, the defender admitted that he is enjoying life as Real Madrid captain. As he said, I am very happy and I am not thinking about anything else. Being captain is a great dream as and a responsibility. We are in, in a good moment and we have to take the most of it. On his playing situation, the veteran added, I fight to play in all important games. I have been a starter in all the Champions League games and I am at a great level. The veteran defender then spoke about the teammate starting with Jude Bellingham who has been a starter performer for the Merengues this season. He has Real Madrid DNA. He always wants to win and compete. He helped the team a lot in front of up front and at the back. He is one of the best signing in recent years, said Nacho. Commenting on another summer signing at Zagule, who could make his debut for Real Madrid on the night, the captain said. Azagule is very young, but he has an incredible talent and thought and future. He needs to play to prove himself, but he has anything to succeed at Real Madrid. We are looking forward to seeing him play because he has tremendous potentials. Vinicius Jr. has been the news once again with his attitude and behavior on the field being questioned responding to it the real madrid skipper said we talk a lot with vinnie he is a type of player who feels more provocation than the rest he plays he always confronts and generates frustration we talk to him so he stays calm and focuses on playing little by little he is improving, but he has a lot of character. We look after him a lot here. If Puyol wants to talk to him, it is up to him. In the Champions League, Vinny is calmer. We are softening the situation. I don't know if it's because of the rivals. The important thing is that he focuses on playing. Commenting on lack of goals from the two forwards Vinicius and Rodrigo, Nacho added, We have changed the way we play. Karim has very different characteristics to Vini and Rodrigo. The team is in good dynamics despite the stumble against Rayo. They are going to score a lot of goals and generate a lot, he concluded. So having said that, we have come to the end of today's interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. See you next time at Hala Madrid to us all.